YouTube. It's Nicole and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm here to talk to you girls about my goddess locks. Um, because yes, I did goddess locks on myself, huh? About four weeks ago, um, and I've gotten a lot of compliments on them. And so I just wanted to share them with you guys, okay? And I wanted to show you guys how I did them. I really like them. They're really like easy to style. And um, I've gotten a lot of compliments on them, especially the color. I used the Cuban Twist Hair from Equal and I used OT30 and also um, regular 30. So um, yeah, and mine are kind of like kind of waist length, kind of like bra strap length-ish. Um, I really didn't want them to be that long. They just ended up this long. I think the next time I do some goddess locks, I think that I kind of want them to be more in this region. I feel like that would be super cute um, on me. She's like, she got left at home or everybody else went to the party. But I feel like this length would be just like super cute just all over. Like even me go like this. So in order to do this style, you're gonna need a couple of things. You're gonna need your mirror. I have mine right here in front of me. Also, you're going to need like a wide tooth comb like this. Also a small tooth comb, but like a rat tail on there. You're going to need a crochet hook, um, like a kind of like a duckbill type of clip. Either one of these will work. Um, you're gonna need like hair bands to hold back your other pieces of hair. Um, you're going to need some shine and jam or any type of like edge control consistency pomade that you can use. Um, you're also gonna need sun type of Marley hair. I am using um, the Equal Cuban Twist hair and I'm using this in OT30 and also um, the color 30. Um, and you just want a hair with like some type of like kink to it. So people have used Marley hair for forever. Um, and then also some type of crochet hair that's gonna be the curly hair at the end. And this is, what is this, Innocence? Um, itch free easy crochet this is deep wave in the color 30 as well just to match the rest of my hair so I have this piece um, already out so basically you want to go through and part your hair um, I didn't really want to put all of that on camera just because it was like three weeks ago and two my sister helped me it's a lot easier if you have someone help you um, she kind of just parted and then I would braid um, and then just take your own natural hair and detangle So then you want to take your shine and jam and not get too much but enough to kind of define and Make sure you got all those hairs smooth in there and I just kind of work that product in what you wanna do is plait your hair. And you don't want it to be too tight at the base um, cause then you won't be able to get your crochet hook in there. And now <clears throat> there are some techniques where you can add in hair right here um, to the end of the plait. That's actually what I did to some of these, but I'm gonna show you the most easiest way um, to do these box, I mean, to do these goddess locks. And I got this, if I haven't said it already, from Dope Ass Panna here on YouTube. She's amazing. Um, that's kind of who I look at and who I get inspired by to do different styles. So I do pretty much braid all the way down my natural hair and I mean you don't have to go all the way down to like the little pieces but 
pretty much all the way down and a girl has some hang time what i like to do is you see how the ends are kind of like fused together at the end i just kind of like to take my wide tooth comb and kind of split that up and i do it on both pieces i'm gonna need two pieces of hair um because i have the 16 inch cuban twist and because um mine is ombre at the top so i need another piece to kind of create the rest of the um brown towards the bottom and then i also just kind of open up the hair when you're wrapping this will make some difference um when it comes to that part so then i just kind of put these pieces off to the side so now i take my um crochet hair this is actually really pretty crochet hair i use two types of crochet hairs i use lulu tress um and this one that i'm showing you here i didn't really care for the lulu tress it was kind of um the ends kind of got matted kind of quickly so i don't recommend that hair um but i just kind of take a piece like this and so i'll take my crochet hook and i kind of point it downwards and go through the base with the open hook so then what i do is i wrap my crochet hair close that hook and pull it through we're gonna pull one side through so it's kind of like that so i like to make one side longer than the other because um you don't really need too much hair out at the bottom or else um it's gonna look kind of matted you know so i just kind of look and see where i want it to stop if i make the piece too long i can always cut it too as far as our marley hair our cuban twist hair we're gonna do the same thing um, i'm just gonna take my crochet hook you could actually do these both at the same time i don't know my 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 hands don't work that well <laughs> i have small hands so so i put it in the crochet hook close the little door and then I just bring it through and I bring one side okay I see in tutorials where they'll bring up this piece kind of short like this much and then start wrapping um, because my roots are dark or they have to be I can't pull it up that high because then you'll see this um, gold part too early. Um, so basically what I do is <clears throat> I kind of pull it to the part here where it's um, almost not going to show anymore. I hold this Marley hair and these two pieces of hair and my braid. <laughs> I hold all those pieces together and then you start wrapping so you will wrap one like three or four times at the base and that's how you get that security at the base you already have security because you chose to um, crochet the hair all the hair in so your hair is not going to slip out but it just creates a little bit more security but because they can kind of like pull down and then you'll end up seeing your braid so basically then you just wrap all the way down and you kind of want to spread out your hair because that makes it look even more smooth i take these duck bell clips and I'll place them at the root and what this does is because every time you're wrapping the root of your hair is twisting and it can create tension the same thing can happen with um sunglaze twists or like rope twists and I use that I use that clip it kind of helps stop it from twisting around and so it helps with the tension and it'll cause less pain trust me because um I didn't do it on part of them and it hurt.
so now that we're here kind of towards the end um, so this is the rest of that one strand so I kind of just kind of wrap it up like we'll do it at the end and then now I bring in the second piece of hair and we're pretty much gonna do this one just like the other and just start wrapping Now I can tell we're kind of getting to an end here. So basically I'm gonna take that piece again that I was wrapping and kind of wrap it into the hair. And I kind of got three strands here. So I'm gonna start with the middle one. Kind of wrap downward. Um, you can take this piece and see how it's like that and you can start wrapping it upward and that kind of helps just kind of like seal it off and then what I like to do is take some Gorilla Glue you can use nail glue as well um, they're pretty much the same I just feel like Gorilla Glue just last a lot longer And I just kind of wrap that piece around a couple of times and then kind of seal it with my hands so and then that there is our lock it'll be kind of stiff like this how it is when you use this Marley hair um, and then this is the time that I take to like cut off whatever because I don't like a whole bunch of like curly ends and I left them kind of long um, so I can kind of control how long or short I want it to be. So I'm just taking some regular old scissors and I just kind of cut off some hair. And that's basically how you do a goddess lock. Um, if you girls enjoyed this video or you'd like to see some more um, videos about my goddess locks, leave a comment below and I will see you girls in the next video. Smooches!